So here we have a brilliant application that's called Wow Mic, and it's a free, totally free microphone. I've got a Shure mic with a, a audio box USB from Presonus. Works brilliantly, but I've got a lot of uh, noises from earth, ground loops and all that sort of stuff. So I was looking for a microphone that's just simple to use. And here's a wireless microphone, basically, from your phone becomes a microphone that use, works through Wi-Fi. You can work through USB and other options I'll show you, close to zero latency with it. So let's look at the introduction. There's two apps, which is basically a app that goes onto your device. In my case, it's an Android app, an APK. And there's an application that goes onto your PC. In my case, Windows that you download from this site. And the WO Mic Virtual Device is what gets installed onto the PC and it controls like a virtual device. And this, your phone connects to the client on the PC and it becomes accessible to any application on the device. In my case, it becomes my microphone. So these are the kind of main features. Uh, this will be appealing to most people. It's no cost. Um, then also, it's literally a real microphone, just dependent on the quality of your phone's microphone. Again, no lag. It's easy to configure, as you'll see. And once you install the app onto your PC, you must reboot it for the drivers to become active. With these settings, I prefer using the Wi-Fi because you then don't have a limit to the space you can move away from the PC. And these are really cool settings, uh, sample rates and so forth. So under the install installation tab, you basically go to downloads and mine is Android phone. You can go to the Google Play Store. I would recommend that you just take this APK here. You see there's a link to WO Mic APK. Download it here and it works perfectly. Sometimes I struggle to find it on the Google Play Store. If your PC doesn't have this runtime in it, you've got to download it and install it. But most of us who have installed other apps would have it probably in. And this is the application that will cause the client side on the PC to be installed. So once you download the APK and this Windows file, if you go look, I'll show you now. Um, that is the APK. You transfer that onto your phone and install it. And this is the... Uh, server-side uh, application that runs onto your Windows. In my case, I'm running Windows 10. So run and install them, and then you'll see this icon on your phone, WO Mic, after installing the APK. And then on your PC, you'll have this little tiny application. Remember, reboot after installation on your PC. And this is what you have. So... Uh, you first got to start up the application on your phone. Reason being is that the application on the PC needs an IP address to link to. So if you open it, that's the IP address that you've got to link to. And you see it says stop. To get it going, you've got to push the play button on top. This 8125 is a port address. So I'm going to click the three dots and go to settings. You'll see that's the port control. and on this PC, if you go to advanced there, that's where the port control must match. By default, it will sort itself out. But if you're having an issue, just go check there if they correspond. And then the buffer, you can fiddle with that, but the default five is cool. Um, really close to zero latency. So maybe leave it at five there um, for most uh, situations. So before you press connect over here, you can see um, just press connect to show you that it's asking for an IP address which you need from the phone. So make sure that IP address match there and start your phone first before you start the, the PC, actually connect the PC, else you're going to pull up an error. So you you click on your, your phone, click the start, it's going to say wait for connection, and then you press connect on your computer. And there we go. There's a totally connected. Perfect. And it does it so quickly and it works excellent. So I'm going to just open up uh, an application, uh, let's call this OBS, and just to show you how it will pick up on the device. 
Now you can go and look in the Windows settings for your devices and all that, and it will show up there. But just to show you here, I've got it installed, and here you see as I'm busy was busy talking, you can see it coming through as a device. I'm going to just add another one so that you can see how it appears. So I'm going to say add an audio input device. This is in OBS. If you look here, you can see the microphone WO mic device. And that will appear as another device on any of the applications you use. Cool. And that's about it. So, yeah. It's as simple as that. And I am busy recording this now on that particular microphone. Uh, I'm overdubbing it because, as you're seeing, I'm switching off and switching on the actual demo on the screen. Cool. So install it and you have an extra microphone if you want to use it for, you know, recording anything on your PC. It's a great tool.